Welcome to International Nature Journaling Week Day 7. Today we're going to talk about ecosystems and I'm going to show you one of the most beautiful ecosystems right near my home and we're going to do a bit of sketching. So an ecosystem is all the living and non-living things in an area and so we're talking about plants and animals, fungi, interacting with the non-living elements, so the weather, the wind, the sun, the temperature, the stones, all that sort of thing. And there are different groups of organisms in ecosystems. So there's producers, there is consumers, and there are decomposers. So plants are producers because they produce their food from an external source. They produce their food from photosynthesis from the sun. And animals are consumers because they have to consume food for energy. And the other group is decomposers and fungi fall into this category because they decompose all the organic matter and recycle it back into the system. So as I'm walking through the bush here and showing you what we can see, I'm gonna be thinking about these three groups. So producers, consumers and decomposers. Let's have a little look. So I've just come across something I want to show you, evidence of animals interacting with plants in this ecosystem. Now this plant, I, ha I can see animals have been interacting with plants here in that this plant is, has been nibbled or actually completely feasted on by, by something. There's holes in all of these leaves and in all of the trees of the same species around here there's, they're covered in holes. I don't know why. I'm going to sketch this in my journal. This environment is really pretty, really beautiful, and yet I can see lots of evidence of human impact here. There's weeds all around me. There's lantana over there. Over here is this species of weed called Biddens pelosa. I don't know a lot of species names, but I know this one because of um, a, a botany project at university. This is actually edible, and I learnt that recently on a weed walk. And it's quite good. I'm going to sketch this in my journal. Here's a tree stump that's been burned. Fire is a really important element in ecosystems in Australia. Some plants need fire to, to regenerate and I'm going to sketch this burnt stump in my journal. This is a dry creek bed. It doesn't look like there's much here at the moment, but when it rains, this is going to fill up and create its own aquatic ecosystem. I'm going to sketch this in my journal. Here's another burnt 
tree stump. I could use this charcoal to make some marks in my journal. In fact, I might do that. Oh look, a little praying mantis on this stump. I can see sticky seed heads stuck to my jeans. This is another way that plants interact with animals. They, they use lots of plants, use all different types of methods for seed dispersal, but one of them is an adaptation to stick to fur or genes to be carried away from the parent plant and establish new plants. So I'm doing my bit for dispersing weeds through here. <laughs> This little plant is ready to bloom. It's a type of wattle. Wattle is an Australian native, which is one of my favorites. Beautiful bursting yellow flowers are gonna come out very, very soon from here. I've just found the weirdest thing. I looked at the flowers and I thought, Okay, this is from family Solanaceae, and I thought, hmm, I wonder what it is. I've looked at it closely and I've had a little smell, and it's a tomato. What's a tomato doing growing here? Tomatoes seem to be so opportunistic. We get them popping up randomly all over the place, but I've never seen one in the middle of a forest. <laughs> Perhaps I'll sketch this. Oh, hang on. Okay, I'm looking. It looks and it smells very much like a tomato to me and the fruit looks a little bit different but yes I'm going to sketch this with a big question mark right now. <laughs> I want to show you this super, super interesting. This, you can see on the underside of this leaf, these are leaf galls. And leaf galls can be caused by different things. Sometimes it's an insect parasitizing a leaf, making, um, laying eggs in the leaf. It can also be bacteria or viruses or other, other things, but this, this tree is absolutely covered in leaf galls underneath. Usually leaf galls don't affect the plant, but it's another interaction of animals and plants. <laughs> I've just found the weirdest thing here. I want to show you. I'm going to sketch it in my journal now. An insect has cut both sides of these leaves and rolled them up like a sardine can to create a little swag for itself. I guess while well, it's pupating or I don't know but it's super intriguing and I'm going to sketch it now. <laughs> I'm sketching something that I've drawn before. It's a vine and it's called wombat berry. It's got these very shiny seeds and a bit of a white pith surrounding them. And I'm interested in these because they're, they've got a really bright orange skin and these super super shiny blackberries. I'm also particularly interested right now in this plant because I can see evidence of decomposers. And you see along the edge of this skin that the berries have fallen out and along the edge of the skin is some mold which is a fungi. So we were talking about our three different groups of organisms 
and decomposes was one of them, and I hadn't seen any fungi until now. So remember that mould is a type of fungi, and it's helping to decompose this wombat berry. So I've done a lot of sketching. We've seen producers, consumers and decomposers in this ecosystem. I'm going to take my sketchbook home because the light is getting low and I'm going to fill out a few of the details from photo reference and we'll be done. So this is where I got to today in my journal. There's not a lot of colour and I'm going to go in and add some extra colour and a few more details here in my studio. So I finished my journal page for Ecosystems Day. It's a bit of a jumble of elements, it's not very tidy and I think I'm okay with that because ecosystems aren't very tidy, they're a jumble of elements as well. So I hope that's given you some inspiration for your journal page today. Go out and think about ecosystems. They can be big like a whole forest or they can be small like just a tide pool or the micro ecosystem that you'll find under a stone for example. So think about producers, consumers and decomposers if you like and how these living elements interact with the non-living elements in a system. And I hope you have heaps of fun and I can't wait to see what you come up with.